Good morning ladies and gents and I'm up and out early today. I've already done phase one of what I wanted to do. This is the church of St. Mary, Older Mary. Um, okay. Another Wren church. Historical details will fall in the description box. But this is a beautiful one. I did cover it quite some time ago. So as I'm here and I'm quite a bit early for where, I, where else I need to be. I thought I would um, cover that. The Church of St. Antholin, demolished in 1874. A memorial tablet formerly in Dodge Road, recited here in memory of Douglas Alfred Barber, Church Warden of St. Mary Older Mary, 1989 to 2000. And that's another one of um, London's lost churches. Let's zoom out a minute. That's good. That's it. We're just getting a couple of pictures. Huh? Yes, yeah, another one of London's lost churches. So, um, Silvery, if you watch that, that's. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly where that was. So that's another one for you to have a look at. The Church of St. Antholin. So there we go. Anyway, back to St. Mary, Older Mary. Nearly went down the stairs then, which was the wrong way to go. Yeah, it's a beautiful church. Oh, inside and out. It's quite busy in there because they host um, warm zone mornings and early afternoons for um, anyone, really. Most of it's orientated towards the homeless. But anyone can have a wee look. But yeah, we are on currently going to be walking on to Bow Lane. Uh, this is the back part of the churchyard, or the church and churchyard. I'll get you on to Bow Lane. Oh, nice. Dead rat. This is Bow Lane. Mm, that food smells nice. And this is the church. Uh, there are some gravestones in the churchyard, but they're pretty worn away. But mainly just to get the outside views before we go in. Anyway, back to where we are, or where we're going. To point you down a moment, I'll pause you actually. And in we go. Um, I will do this in 10 minute increments, this one. Because I want to TikTok and Instagram it as well. So, it's the main reason I'm doing that. I will show you, of course, the, uh, my main reason for coming here today. But just look at the scene, I mean, that's stunning in, its, in itself. I always do the sides first, so I can't point down too much in some areas because there are people about. But, yeah. There's quite a few memorials in here, but my main one is what we're going to see in a minute. I'll show you. There's my own calls for coming here. Look, all the wood lined panelling and that. I just, there we are, I can point you down now. It's just, I won't film people without their consent. It's not right. I wouldn't like it. Mr. Harrison. The church as it was at the time of James Braidwood's marriage in 1838. Now James Braidwood is the character I've never heard of, so this is going to be a first to me and anyone that's never heard of him. The text above, memorial tablet, to James Braidwood, who lived in Watling Street during his time as superintendent of the London Fire Engine Establishment and was married in this church on the 14th of November 1838, reads as follows in memory of James Braidwood of the London Fire Engine Establishment who lost his life at the Great Fire in Tooley Street on the 22nd, June 22nd in the 63rd year of his age 
uh, interred at Abney Park Cemetery, June the 29th, 1861. Ah, so we've got the year then. Uh, Be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Erected by the engineers and firemen of the station in Watling Street. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Here's the details. So pause to read if you want to. I'm going to be moving away now. There's no memorial tablet there, is there? But no, they're very old ones. Unless it's over here. Let's have a look. I will look and check. In the memory of Mary. No, no, it's not there. Unless it refers to that picture there, and it was there and was taken down or destroyed, possibly. Elizabeth Hansen. Ceiling. Look, it's just stunning as well. This will be um, probably two 10 minute increments. This one, you're welcome to use this space for meditation and prayers. My main reason for coming here today is this gentleman. I'm going to be in one of my London Lives documentaries, and that's he is the main reason I've come here today. Surgeon Percival Parr, he was a surgeon at St Bartholomew's Hospital for 42 years. Quite a revolutionary man. Basically, cut a long story short, he broke his leg, compound fracture. In those days, that normally would have meant amputation, but he wouldn't have that. So he got someone else to help him, treated his leg, the wound, and cleaned it, and he treated the break himself. And it was successful, and by that knowledge, he gained the knowledge to help many other people who would, didn't lose their legs, and in those days, your livelihood. Because if your legs went, there was no welfare state back then, you were screwed. Unless you were rich, you were screwed. So that's Surgeon Percival Pot and Sarah Pot, his beloved wife. So, if you're into my London live documentaries, keep an eye out. The Pot Memorial. There we are. See, I love all these kind of details. He does appear in my um, documentary, a lot of the information about his life and his career. So I want to catch this now for the pages because it's a fascinating man. And it's nice that he's remembered like this. Um, he was one of the first, well, the first pe recognised person to um, recognise an occupation-linked disease, which was uh, chimney sweeps cancer. He was the first person to link an occupation with a disease, like you can get ill from an occupation. So, as I say, quite a revolutionary man. And these are all the arms of different um, companies. The work, that one was the Worshipful Company of Caldwainers. The Worshipful Company of Stainers. It's a beautiful church, and well, most London churches are. I'll just point you above, because there are people sitting down. But yeah. We'll be coming up to our 10 minutes in a minute, so we'll cover this altar area here. Making sure I don't fall on anything. Preferably, that's where they keep the host, the bread and the wine in there. Then you've got this beautiful window here. Join me for part two. 
hope you've all enjoyed this little journey so far. Join me for part two now. Welcome back to part two, and we've covered a lot of the history. Let's move this table a minute, look. Because there's some of the history of the church there. Pause to read descriptions, I am getting photos. So. And here's another one I just remembered as well, look, to try and capture. What's that? Schnapp. Um, I spoke to someone who knows a bit more about the church. The Blackstone Memorials are down in the crypt and they very rarely let anyone down there because it is a proper crypt with coffins in it and everything like that. So, And um, I investigate many things and, and have a look through many things and I've been in a, in a couple of crypts that are like that but one I would never take photographs or film. So... There is a picture online, apparently, of Surgeon Potts' um, Blackstone, so I'll use that one if I can find it. But yeah, going snooping around into burial vaults and stuff isn't really my, uh, isn't my thing, but look at this, look. The stunning workmanship on these. This is the high altar, the choir store area, but even the floors are beautiful, look. You've got an organ there because there's two sides to this organ. We're seeing the playing side of it where the organ master will sit or the organ player will sit. Over here you've got this is on Sundays used as an Orthodox church after the Anglican services are finished. So there are a lot of Orthodox items here. Leonard Reynolds. And you've got the beautiful altar thing there. I won't go on to the altar itself. That I don't do unless I'm told that's okay because it's disrespectful. This church and this wall here is built at a bit of a weird angle because of the position of the church, the way the church is situated. And I'm stepping backwards very carefully so I don't fall. Which I often do. But look, over in that corner there, Onto our tour. Here's the uh, pulpit. I don't know whether that's here's the pulpit. Sorry, I don't know if that's used or not. But it's got a rather a large flower display on it. Mm -hmm. These will either be to your taste or not. Here's the other side of the organ. I ain't taking shed loads of photos because I've taken quite a lot of the stained glass. Which is one of the main things I like. Plenty of memorials here for anyone that likes that too. We've seen Surgeon Pot and his wife. Oh. Zoom in on these. James Braidwood. Superintendent of the London. Ah, brilliant, I found him. It said about a memorial tablet up on the wall and they've moved the picture to the other side. That should be on this side, but here we are. Um, Superintendent of the London Fire Engine Establishment. 
who lost his life at the Great Fire in Tooley Street June the 22nd, 1861, in the 61st year of his age, interred at Abney Park Cemetery June the 23rd, I think that is, 1861. Ah, good, I'm glad I found him. Look, all the woodwork and everything is lovely. Speakers are discreetly hidden as well, which is nice. It shows that they've made an effort. There's quite a lot to see in this one. It is a beautiful church, I must admit. Sorry. Get you some nice views. over there. It's a stunner this one isn't it? So, and there you've got a man called Charles Perkins. Go through this one. Oh, look what I forgot to show you. One of the uh, greatest bits of it. Could be a free part one, this maybe. I'm sorry. That's an astrological clock, that. that's an a, a clock, time and astrological, whether it works or not, I'm not, I can't quite tell, but pretty impressive piece that, isn't it? Let's get a picture of that. Very nice. And now what that man's looking at, which I can't point you down to, point you down too much, these are um, the old sword rests. 1682. Very impressive. When gentlemen or uh, notables or what came into the church, they'd be allowed to put their swords there. And look at this impressive piece, St. George. This window here. So you should be able to cover everything in the 10 minutes. And you can see London and St Paul's and everything there, which is nice to see. Right, I'll point you up a minute because there are people sitting having their coffees and stuff here. But there you've got a um, very, very old painting there. Look. More stained glass and memorials, pennants and flags. Right. And that's the main entrance, well, one of the entrances we came in through the side entrance, well, that's the main one. Hope you all enjoyed that one guys and girls, as I say it's a beautiful church. If you can come along and um, enjoy it yourselves, I suggest you do so. It's well worth a visit. Right. One last look at that. Got the corner over there. This is where the coffee bar area is in that over here. There's memorials and stuff all over the place too. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed.
thanks very much for watching and take care see you all soon